All right, howdy, y'all. Um, so my name is Josh. Hello. Uh, uh, I put a cover up of Flatland Cavalry's uh, Sleeping Alone, and I got a lot of requests to do a tutorial on it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, or attempt to do. Hopefully afterwards, you'll be able to practice it and learn it. Um, play it for yourself. Play it for your, your girl, your boy, whatever. Um, anyway, so... Um, the picking pattern I use is kind of a uh, Travis picking pattern. Um, it's really not that complicated once you get it down. Um, but it's not what he uses in the song. It's different. Um, but I just didn't want to take the time to learn how he um, um, did his picking pattern. Um, and I know a few, but this is the one that fit the best. Um, so basically what you do is um, the first chord, we'll take the first chord. Um, so a G. Um, also, cape on the on the third fret if you want to be in the key of the song. Um, so you take a G chord, um, and typically you, with this type of picking pattern, you play the outside of the uh, of the chord, the two strings. Um, but in the song, he starts he um, that B is very the open B is very prominent in the G chord, so you want that. Um, so essentially, um, this picking pattern, what you do is you want to pluck your outside strings. Um, so you got your G, so third fret on the E string, and you got your open B. So you pluck those at the same time with your thumb and then whatever finger you want to use. If you want to use just these two, you can do that. Um, you want to use your middle, you can ring, whatever you want. Um, so you pluck those two. Um, and then you'll go to your open D and your open G and then back to your bass note G and your open B and then you go back to your D and your G so that's basically the whole picking pattern so you go pluck D G um, E string E string D G so it sounds like, if you want to have a rhythm to it, it sounds like. Um, so without muting it, it would sound like. Um, if you really want help, I'm not going to spend too much longer on the picking pattern itself. Um, but the way I kind of learned it, um, whenever I was first starting to play guitar, um, I took a C chord, um, because C chord is nice and even, and it has four strings. Um, so, um, you pluck the outside, um, your bass C, so third fret on the A string, and your first fret on the B string, um, and then you go. So, that has a nice even four strings, you use all the strings equally, so... I would just walk around for hours doing that or sit on the couch watching TV and just practice that um, so real simple um, once you get it down it's not too hard you can put it on over any chord um, and then plus if you're doing that and you hit other notes while you're doing it as well it still sounds good because it's in the chord so anyway so that's the picking pattern um, so in the song he starts off on the G And then he goes to this, the next one isn't really a chord, um, but he um, hammers on from an open A to this fourth fret um, on the A string. So, and whenever he does that, he also plucks the B string. So like that. Um, and then he puts his middle finger right here on the fifth fret of the D. Um, it makes these two strings the same note, um, but it sounds better than this. That's very dissonant. Um, that's not really what you want. So um, that's what you want right there. So, and then you can do this pull off on the high E. Um, he does that in the song. He does it more slow. He does it something like like that. But with my picking pattern, I I didn't figure that out. So I just pull off with it. Um, so you go. down 
to a C. Then back to the G, and that's when the singing starts. So that's ba your basic intro, but also you are, the verses are that progression, um, essentially. The chorus is different, um, so you got your Counting constellations on a popcorn ceiling Staring at your picture on the wall I do that just for embellishment. You can embellish however you want. You want to do that. So that's your verses right there. Um, so once you get to the end of the verse, um, let's see. As the tears began to fall. So then you're gonna go into your chorus. Your first chord on the chorus is gonna be a C. I'm tired of sleeping alone. And then back to a G. You bounce back and forth between these. Where you are. Back to the C. Time to sing good night through the phone. Back to the C. Morning in the dark. And then you go to a D right here. Um, and for me, it was important for me. I didn't want to just, it sounds better um, instead of plucking, you know, your D, your D chord technically has four strings too. You can practice your picking like that. Um, but with this, you want to have the illusion that you're about to walk down to the E minor, but you come back up to a G. So, waking up each morning in the dawn. Like that. Um, so, you pluck the second string of the E, second fret of both E strings, essentially, um, the outsides of the chord, and then you do the middle two. Um, you don't really touch the B string, so. Like that. And then you come back up to a G. Um, and you want to get the outside of the G as well. Um, so essentially the same pattern for both those. Um, so um, each morning and the dawn, and then say a prayer, turn out the light, sign hook my pillow tight. Um, so right there, you're just walking down. So say a prayer is G, turn out the light. F sharp over D, um, and then to an open to an E minor, um, and you want to pluck the outside of those as well, and then to a C. So say a prayer, turn out the lights, sign hook my pillow tight. So you go to a C there, um, and you hang on here, and then uh, sign hook my pillow tight. I'll be with you soon, my dear. Only in my dreams. So right there, um, I'll be with you soon tonight if only um, you slide up. So this functions, sliding up um, two frets with the C functions as a D chord. Um, your bass note's still a D. Um, it's called a D add nine, I believe, um, or a version of it, something, I don't know. Um, it's just a pretty D chord, essentially. So, and then back to a G. So, I'll be with you soon, my dear. This, uh, this verse, you hang out on the G, and then uh, you do this little part that's different. It says, indifference over distance don't fare well. Um, so that part is just a um, E minor. Indifference over distance don't fare well. So right there, I don't use the, I just play the D chord. Um, so you got the... Be a good night kiss from you. Break 
Wake me from my spell. So the second time, whenever you go to spell, um, you slide up to that pretty D chord. Um, and then you go back down to the uh, C. And then you go back into the, the uh, chorus. And I just want to be where you are. So you do this whole chorus. Through the phone. Waking up each morning in the dark. And then say a prayer, turn out the light. Sigh and hug my pillow tight. I'll be with you soon, my dear. Only in my dreams. And then you want to play through the, the verse progression. So that, um, all here we go again is um, E minor. So, all oh, here we go again. So you go E minor to C to G. That's it. Um, off to Never Never Land. And then you want to go back to like you're walking down because you're about to go back to the last part of the chorus. Um, so, and then it goes to the Say a prayer, turn out the line Sigh and hug my pillow tight And then I'll be with you soon, my dear Only in my dreams and you want to do that one more time? So back to that walk down portion then Say a prayer, turn out the line Sigh and hug my pillow tight Be with you soon tonight if only in my dreams. And that's the whole song, basically. And then your outro is just essentially doing the um, opening again. So yeah, um, that's how to flat line cavalry. Hopefully, uh, if you watch it, um, you practice it, um, you're able to play it. Thanks so much.